Well, if it isn't Jerry, the promising young tree walker that everyone's going on about, you wouldn't happen to have a fire spell handy, would you? That's me, but I'm still in training, you know. Gossip spreads fast here. I hope you realise that I was only joking about the fire spell. After all, my bike is built from a matchbox. It would burn like kindling. Are you Plato the mailman? Well, if these packages don't get delivered today, I'll just be plain old Plato the frog. Oh. Your bicycle is really stuck in the ice, huh? Well... I expect the ice will have melted by tomorrow, but that won't do me any good. If I don't deliver the packages today, I'll soon be out of a job. Hmm. Maybe I can help you. Good luck, Plato. See you later. Thanks. Oh, what a nuisance. And I was going to go out with Anya tonight. Are these your packages and letters? No. But I am responsible for them. But now my bike's got stuck here and there's nothing I can do about it. That means I can't deliver the mail. I've never been this late on my round. Would you like me to distribute the mail for you? Hmm. Her? You'd really do that for me? Sure. I'll be running to and fro all day anyway. Oh, that would be a tremendous help. Then I can garden a bike. You know, my delicate frog's legs are better suited for cycling than for marching through the woods. No problem. Consider the mail delivered. That's the same symbol I saw in my magical letter. The sign of the tree walkers. Maybe somebody left that here because there is a tree portal nearby. Okay, I really shouldn't do this. If only Mr. Church Mouse hadn't tied that thread to my coin. The temptation is just too great. It worked! Like with the gumball machine next to my school. Uh, not that I would know. I've just heard things. The last keg of blue juice. And a little sticker. 